Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we will write a code to find a given number is prime or not. Now first of all just to give you a brief idea of prime, so prime number is a number which is divisible only by 1 and itself. So if you take an example of 10, so 10 has a factor which is 1, uh, then we have 2, then we have 5, then and we have 10, so we don't want that, so 10 is not a prime number. Uh, so 7 is a prime number, 13 is a prime number, then 19 is a prime number. So how do you check a given number is prime or not? Now when you say you want to check a given number is a prime number or not, it's very simple, right? So let's take a number here. So let's say uh, 7 in this case. So what you will do is you will try to divide this number by 2 because all the numbers are divisible by 1. So let's start with 2. So we'll check if 7 can be divided by 2. If yes, then it's not a prime number. If it's not divisible, then we'll go for 3, then we'll go for 4, then we'll go for 5, then we'll go for 6. So we'll not check for 7 because again it is divisible. So we'll start from 2 and we'll end um, with minus 1. So example, if you take a number which is 19, so you will end at 18, right? That's what you will do. So every time you have to check if you find the number, if it is divisible, you can simply print not a prime number. If it is not divisible, we can print it's a prime number. So how do you write a code? So let's take a number. So I will say number is equal to, let's start with a, a prime number itself. Let's start with seven. And then let's run a loop. So we'll start a loop. We'll say i as a counter variable. So we'll say for i in, let's use a range here. Now this range will start from two because we'll start from two and then we have to end at seven. So we'll end at num. Or we have to end at six, right? So of course, when your range will not take the last value. Once we got a range here, let's check what the condition. So what is the condition? So condition would be if, if num mod i, okay, if it is division equal to equal to zero, that's how you check if the number is divisible or not. If it is equal to equal to zero, in that case, you will simply print not prime. That's it, right? So you will simply print not prime because it is divided. Else you will print it's prime. Oh, is it that simple? Of course not, right? This code will not work. So let's run this code and you can see it says prime, 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 prime multiple times. Okay, so we just want to do it once, right? Now, if you remember in the last video when we talked about for else, so if you want to do it only once, what you can do is instead of using this else for if, we should be using it for for, right? So we say else for for. And then after this print, you will simply say break because once you know if the number is not prime, why have to check for the many numbers? Example for 10, it is divisible by two, right? So why you have to check for the numbers? So you will simply say break there. And I guess this will work. So if you run this code, you can see it says prime. So but that's what you're doing, right? So what we're doing is we're checking from two to the second last number, which is uh, in this case, we are saying num. So it will take num minus one. And then every time you will check if the number is divisible by that number, if yes, it's not a prime number. If no, you will complete the entire loop and you will simply print prime. That's it. Uh, let's change this number. So instead of having seven, let's take 10 here. And with this, let's run this code and you can see it says not prime. That's right. 10 is not a prime number. That's how you can check a given number is prime or not. Okay, so this works. But don't you think this is not an efficient code? We have some efficient way as well. So this is proper, but we are checking from the second number to the last number. What if you check only half, even that works. In fact, so if you go more efficient, we can also check for the square root. Now that is something you have to find. So just go to Google and search for how to find a prime number in an efficient way. So that's how you improve yourself in the algorithms as well. How can you think about efficiency, speed efficiency, space efficiency, all those things. So at this point, we have only worked with prime number, but you can make it efficient. Uh, so let me know your efficient code in the comment section. So that's it from this video where we have talked about how to check a given number is prime or not. So I hope you are enjoying this series. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.